for you to arrive here standing on this stage, even though it's about six minutes, but the preparation has been long. You have put in a lot of effort. So in order not to make your journey less worthwhile, I would like to give a few suggestions, my observation, so that you will be able to improve better, to do better in future. Now, talking about speech contests, do you remember when we are speaking, we are not out of this room, we are not out of this world. So, always be interactive with the audience. Now, interactive in the sense that the first thing when you come on stage, our kind technician prepare the microphone, put on the right height for you, at least acknowledge him. Say thank you, if you don't say it out, at least you know, I don't pretend to be there waiting to be served like we are doing here. Because that shows your attitude. And then the audience looking at you, well, this guy is very snobbish, very proud. I choose not to listen. You are gone. But of course not for us judges. So always be human. That's why interaction with the audience is very important when you are giving a speech, whether you are in the contest or not. It is so much of completing a speech that you have written, that you have researched, I mean, you have rehearsed, that you have memorized. It's not that. Every speech, there is a message. There is something that you want to deliver, you want to share, you want people to listen. But if, let's say, the way you are presenting, you are delivering, stop people from listening to you, then what is that here? Isn't it? If you read through the rules of this speech contest, there's always a message there. So points is actually given there. In order for people to listen to you, to get the message from you, make sure you look at them. Don't look up there. Don't look down there. And then make sure when you point, when you point, for example, a very accurate timekeeper. The kind of timekeepers are sitting there, but your hand goes this way. It shows that you do not either you you do not realize or you are too nervous. Right? Now, how to overcome this nervousness when you come to public speaking? Number one, you see, I bring a, a piece of paper. Some of you brought your paper during the impromptu speeches. Don't open up the whole sheet of paper. Because why? The wind blow, and uh, when you get nervous, shivering, the whole paper shakes. Everybody can see. <laughs> Alright? You do not want to amplify your nervousness through this piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Nobody can see, number one. Number two, for example, like, like I said, when you interact with people, you look at people, for example, the one who prepared the microphone for you, he smile for him, or say something. Then it helps you to relax yourself. Then when you come to the delivery of your speech, you will be doing very much better. I hope you can get it. Right? Yes. Then, the facial expression, because we are talking, we want to send a message out. So when we speak, make sure, you know, sometimes the speech is about something, but your face shows something else. Even though you might want to smile, but the face does not smile, your eyes does not really look there. For example, now I'm talking to you, I'm looking at every one of you. To really interact, we should look at the eyes. Unless you are very nervous, then you look at the forehead or you look at the nose. That won't be too far away. Yeah? If you can look at the eyes, then only it shows sincerity. Just like when you talk to your friend, we look right into the eyes. Right? Facial expression, you show. Okay? Then only